They were lured, attacked, and threatened. And now the victims of an accused predator are confronting him in court. This is a story NBC10 was first to report earlier this month. Jordan Martins is charged with crimes against 17 teens and young women. NBC10's Dina Durante was in the courtroom as nearly all of his accusers testified. She has more on the traumatic experiences they shared. I feel bad about what you did to this girl. Jordan Martin says nothing as he heads back to the Montgomery County prison. He sat silent at times looking directly at the women who have accused him of rape, assault, and blackmail. 16 women told a Montgomery County judge they met Martins either through friends or he reached out to them on social media. One victim telling police it was at the King of Prussia Mall when she was in a restroom. Martins came in, insisted on a sex act, and when she refused, she was beaten and forced to perform that act. She told the judge it was some time later as she sat with friends, a video of the incident was sent to those friends. Video she says she didn't know was taken. Prosecutors allege Martins pressured girls into performing sex acts, and for some, they were too young to consent. For one victim identified as victim number six, prosecutors added seven additional rape charges against Martins. After the young woman told the court she was 12 years old when Martins first contacted her via social media, and began asking for naked pictures and for sex acts to be performed on him. Woman told a judge she blocked him but eventually allowed communication via Snapchat because she wanted to buy drugs from him. At first she said she sent pictures but Martins wanted more. And when she said no, she told a judge Martins replied, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. And she knew images were being shared and she didn't want her family to see them. She also said she felt it didn't matter if she refused Martins sexual advances because quote, I didn't have a choice. He knew where I lived. He lived in my building. He could do whatever he wanted. This is not the vicious rape that they described. Martin's lawyer says his client has been painted in an unfair light and says he was not an adult preying on children. While some of the women were underage at the time of the alleged crimes, he says Martin was also a teen then too. It's very, very different from the way that they have tried to portray him as an adult who is going after children. Right now, Martins is facing more than four dozen criminal counts. The judge in this case has yet to rule if the case should go to trial because we're told one more alleged victim still needs to appear in court. As for Martins tonight, he's spending another night in the Montgomery County Prison. In Norristown, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.